Hello gliders, the goal today is to take my first aerobatic lesson. Let's go! clouds. It will be difficult to fly with these conditions. I am starting thinking about the G's that my body will have to suffer in the flights, thinking about the low clouds that we have today, almost at 11 in the morning. I don't know if I will achieve the goal for today. I don't know if I will take my first aerobatic lesson. We'll see. Not only for flying, but also for driving. It is hard to see the road. Well, I have arrived to the airfield and it looks like the clouds are going higher. So we will have a nice weather for the aerobatic lesson. open the hangars and we are preparing all the planes for flying. This will be the DG500 that we will fly. The lesson will consist in three flights. The first one, as an introduction, will consist in flying the DG500 for doing chandelles, wings over and lazy eight. The second, also in the DG500, will consist in doing spins. And the third, just in the case that the instructor considered that I did a good job for the first and the second flight, we will fly the Fox, the best aerobatic glider in the world. We will do chandelles, wings over, lazy eight, tunnels, spins, loopings and inverted flight. At this moment we are climbing to 1200 meters. Velero libre, muchas gracias. In gliders we do not have engines. For that reason we will have to put the nose down until reaching around 200 kilometers per hour. It's in that moment when we will stabilize the plane and we can start any of the maneuvers. The chandelle comes from the military pilots and it consists in the optimal turning and gain of altitude. You will start the maneuver with a soft turn of 30 degrees in roll and 30 degrees in pitch and you will continue the turn and the gain of altitude until you are looking in the opposite direction. It's in that moment when you will finish the maneuver stabilizing the roll and the pitch. The wing over can look similar to the chandel, but is different. You will start the maneuver with an energetic turn in roll and pitch up until you are in the middle of the maneuver with 90 degrees in roll and horizontal pitch. It's in that moment when you will put the nose down and you will stabilize the roll until you are looking in the opposite direction that at the beginning, but at the same altitude. The lazy eight consists in doing two consecutive wings over but in the opposite direction. You will start doing one wing over and then you will do another in the opposite direction and it's in that moment when you finish your manual. For loop 
something, you will have to pitch up maintaining four Gs for all the maneuver. When you are in the top part of the looping, you will release just a little, but just after that, you will continue pitch up for four Gs. When you are in the down part of the looping and stabilize, you have finished your maneuver. have just landed the plane it was a really nice flight for the spin you will have to lose all your kinetic energy this is the opposite than the previous maneuvers for starting this maneuver you will pitch up just a little when you are close to your stall speed you will put the nose up to the maximum and you will press the rudder pedal for the maximum doing that you will lose all your lift in one wing before the other so you will start turning very fast while losing a lot of altitude you will describe a maneuver similar like this. For going out from this maneuver, you will have to put the joystick in the center and put the rudder pedals also in the center. And now we are going to do a stalls, a spins, you will see. Just finished my second flight, my second aerobatic flight. It was very interesting to understand uh, how the plane maneuvers when you are spinning. <laughs> 